Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about what you should know before you decide to major in engineering. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to talk about what you should know about yourself before you decide to major in engineering. Now, this is only because you may decide to choose engineering or go down the engineering path and you find that it's too hard, you're just not interested or motivated in doing it and uh, you just don't think it's worth your time and effort. So I'm just going to give like a list of questions that you should ask yourself and see what your answer would be to these ones. These are some of the things that I kind of based my decision off of and the reasons why I decide to go down the engineering path. For those of you who are still in high school, this is great for you as well because uh, you can take advantage of this opportunity to choose the correct path when you're in college. Um, for those who are already out of college and you decide you wanted to change your major or you've already graduated and you want to go back to college, whatever it may be, these are some good questions you can ask yourself to determine whether or not you should actually major in engineering. So the first question I have is why do you want to become an engineer? Do you like what they do? Are you interested in in the math and the problem solving that's involved in engineering. Do you even know what engineering is? And if you don't, then you can always look that up and figure out what exactly is engineering. And then the next thing is maybe if you have the time to uh, shadow someone who's an engineer, whether it be computer engineering or electrical engineering or mechanical, it doesn't matter, as long as you get some exposure as to what is all entailed in engineering. Um, this is one of the regrets that I had. I never did this and I wish I did. Um, it really would have helped me understand and grasp what was expected of me and, and what I actually will be doing when I'm an engineer. And the next question would be, how is your relationship with math? So do you like math? Are you good at math? Um, have you in the past, maybe in high school, helped other students with their math homework? All engineering involves math and if you don't like that, you're not good at it and you don't ever want to do any more math, then uh, do not choose engineering. But if you are and you're somewhat interested in it, at the very least, then engineering, you know, that might be a good decision for you. And for me, with this question, I was actually kind of good at math in high school. I wasn't great. I was in an AP class, but that doesn't mean I actually passed the AP test. Um, I failed horribly, but I understood how to do the calculations and I did help people here and there, other students, maybe like one or two. So I really used that to, to help me decide what I wanted to major in. So I knew that I was somewhat good at math. You know, I, I wasn't the best, but I was better than the average. So that kind of uh, pushed me towards the, you know, STEM field, engineering field. The next question you could probably ask yourself is, how long do you want to be in college for? And how much do you want to spend on college? Because if you want to go for an engineering degree, you have to at least get a bachelor's to find any sort of legitimate uh, job right out of college with a higher paying salary. I thought about that. I did not want to be in college more than four years. Um, however, I also didn't want to get it just an associate's degree because I didn't think that would be enough education for me to have you know, the, the pay that I wanted when I was done with school. So I thought bachelor's degree was perfect, went in state, and then I decided to pursue a master's degree because this is more specific to the employer that I had applied to. They required a master's degree, so that's the only reason why I went for my master's. Otherwise, I would have just you know, gotten my bachelor's and, and been done with school. But um, I wanted to work at this place, so I, I went for an extra year and I got my master's. That is something that you could definitely consider if you want to go for just a bachelor's degree and you want to get a good paying salary out of college. Uh, engineering is a great route for that. The next question would be, do you like to solve problems? It's similar to the first question in that, are you really interested in engineering? Um, and more specifically, the problem solving part of engineering, because that's all it is really. I mean, you're, you're trying to find a problem and figure out a way to solve it. It doesn't matter what engineering field you're in, that's basically what you end up learning when you graduate. You may think that, okay, well, yeah, who doesn't like to solve problems, you know, because you're helping someone and a lot of people like to help others. Well, these type of problems are very analytical type problems, so that's something to consider. Do you like solving problems that involve math, problems that involve technical work? It's something that I didn't consider, I didn't even think about it, uh, but I wish I did because then I would have been able to better understand uh, how, how engineering works, because once again, it was more of like, I kind of like math and um, I'm kind of good at it, but I didn't really have any other reason. So I just wish that I would have known this beforehand. Maybe I wouldn't have majored 
in engineering or maybe I would have, I don't know. But it's just definitely something that I wish I would have considered and it would have helped me better understand what engineering is all about. And then the next question you could ask yourself is, do you have any um, family that's in engineering, a, a mother, a father, a brother, sister, any relatives? Because if you do, then that is a huge, huge help. Because once you go into these classes, uh, you can always refer to that person, that relative, to not only help you, but to guide you in where you want to go, what area you want to major in, in terms of engineering, like electrical, computer, uh, mechanical, uh, hardware, whatever it may be, they're better able to help you with that because they not only understand who you are as a person, but they also understand you know, that engineering field and what is expected of the students and as a actual engineering employee. So that is, that is a huge, huge upside to things. For example, my dad was an electrical engineer, so I had exposure to engineering type work or the mindset that he had. And he was able to help me when I needed help, help me understand because he understood the math homework that I had or the math homework that I had to do. Um, so it was like a personal mentor right there to help me whenever I needed the help. And I think that was the main reason why I decided to major in computer engineering specifically because it is similar to electrical engineering, but I just didn't want to do the exact same thing my dad did. So I decided why not computer engineering? So the last question I think you should ask yourself is what do you care about more? Your passion or the money? And a lot of people don't really like that question on you should get the highest paying job and all that because it's not your passion, you'll end up hating it. And yeah, I mean, that's true. I don't really like engineering. I don't really like being an engineer right now, but I definitely think it's worth it because I, I have a plan to not be working for the next 40 years as an engineer. I have a plan to leave hopefully in the next 10 to 15 years. So that really helps because I have a high paying job that'll help support this plan and to help me you know achieve this goal so if your goal is to do that then engineering would be great for that because you do get paid a lot you only go to school for four years and you have the opportunity to get those pay raises and bonuses and you know company stock and all that so it's just something to consider if you are someone who is like no not gonna happen i want to work and when i work i want to do something that i like to do because I plan on working for the next 40, 50 years until I retire. If you're one of those people, then yeah, um, don't do engineering, um, especially if you don't like it. So do something that you're actually passionate about. But if you are passionate about engineering, um, then do it. But otherwise, I'd suggest getting the highest paying job that you can, work the least amount of time, and save that money in the meantime. And then that way you can leave that job and work where you wanna work or not work. Uh, your decision. I didn't get a job until I was 20 or 19 and that was just an internship so technically that that wasn't real a real real job it's just that during the summer I had worked 40 hours that that one summer and that was you know technically the hours of a full-time employee and I hated it I really really hated it I mean I don't want to use that word a lot but I did not like it <laughs> so uh, it was something that really helped me wake up and this is when I decided, hey, I'm going to find a way to get out of this as soon as possible because I'm already you know, going to major in like one year. I really wanted to do something that would help me get out of having to do this job for the rest of my life. So that's why it's, it's a huge thing you should consider and it's, I think, one of the most important questions you should ask yourself. Uh, so yeah. These are the main questions that I think you should ask yourself before you decide to do anything in terms of majoring in engineering so that you're able to better understand what you want to do and if you even want to major in engineering. Engineering may not even be for you, but if it is, then that's great. You know, that's, that's awesome. Uh, if it's not, well then, you know, you can find something else. And it's, it's good to know that you aren't going to be doing engineering. That's just one thing that you don't have to worry about anymore. So you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of stress, headache, and money for the classes that you would have paid otherwise. But yeah, those are all the questions and these are the only questions that I could think of right now. So if you guys have any other uh, suggestions on anything else that I could go into more detail about or you know give more information about, then please uh, leave it in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, bye.